Tato Advanced Systems and Lockheed Martin have announced the groundbreaking of a new MRO facility in Bengaluru to support C-130J Super Hercules operations in India. Tato Advanced Systems Limited and Lockheed Martin have signed a teaming agreement to locally manufacture and assemble C-130J aircraft in India, if it wins the 80 medium transport aircraft program. India and Indonesia have begun exercise Garuda Shakti 2025, strengthening special forces interoperability and joint operational readiness. Bangalore-based Altian Energy has developed the world's highest endurance drone which can fly for 417 days at a time. India and Russia have initiated preliminary talks on the joint production of the IL-114 aircraft that can be adapted into a long-endurance maritime patrol and coastal surveillance aircraft. The Indian Navy has massively boosted the firepower of its aging Veer class corvettes, by installing twin Brahmos cruise missile launchers on each side, transforming these vessels from short-range coastal defenders into potent long-range strike platforms. India has issued an OTAM warning for a designated range of 1,480 km, indicating a major missile test between 17 December and 20 December. India has formally proposed a comprehensive defence partnership to Kazakhstan, focusing on joint development co-production and integrated supply chains for weapons ammunition and next-generation platforms like ATAG's howitzer. The Indian Army is evaluating an upgraded Kalyani M4 armored vehicle that will feature soft kill systems like jammers and laser dazzlers, and hard kill options like a smart air burst 7.62mm light machine gun, a 40mm automatic grenade launcher with proximity fused rounds, and a 113mm multi-barrel cannon optimized for Group 1 and 2 drones, all on a stabilized remote weapon station. India's Prale short-range tactical ballistic missile will now incorporate the RDO's fully indigenous geographic information system platform, that will give commanders a secure offline and fully Indian environment to plan missile trajectories, launcher positions, and no escape zones without foreign dependencies. Once Prale missile regiments are deployed in 2026, commanders will be able to plan strikes using Indian software that supports instant geolocation, dynamic range rings and terrain analysis, even if Indian satellites are jammed. With the S2 and S3 SSPN already in service, and S4 SSBN to join by early 2026, with the 4th S4 star SSBN to be commissioned by late 2026, India will achieve continuous at-sea nuclear deterrence by end of 2026. The Navy will maintain a steady rotation, with one SSPN deployed, one preparing, and two in maintenance, that will ensure at least one nuclear-armed submarine is always on patrol. The Indian Air Force is pressuring MBDA to adapt the Scalpg cruise missile for Su-30 and MiG-29 fighter jets, that demands new hardpoints, data bus interfaces, and release mechanism upgrades. The Scalpg offers a 560 km stealth standoff capability, filling a critical subsonic air launch cruise missile gap, until the indigenous LRLACM is ready. India's BrahMos-2 hypersonic missile program will reach a major milestone with its first planned flight test in 2027, aimed at proving sustained Mach 8 hypersonic flight. The first test will validate the missile's scramjet engine, guidance and navigation performance under extreme speeds, and the ability of its advanced materials to withstand intense thermal and aerodynamic stress. This phased test campaign ensures propulsion, structural integrity, and accuracy are fully matured before integration onto military platforms. Defense Metallurgical Research Laboratory Hyderabad has achieved a major milestone for the AMCA program, by delivering India's first indigenous titanium rear fin root fitting, which is one of the most structurally demanding components of the fighter's airframe. This 80 kg single-piece part will anchor the vertical stabilizer to the rear fuselage, and endures extreme bending torsion and fatigue loads near the engine nozzles. It cleared all destructive non-destructive and dimensional tests without a single deviation, meeting stringent airworthiness standards. 
With this success, India now possesses the capability to manufacture large complex near net shaped titanium components, which was previously considered impossible without imports, marking a crucial leap for AMCA prototyping and future production. Today's Top 3 Comments